Hi, my name is Randy Noble. I'm a Christian author and the host of a blog talk radio program, The Cross in the Desert, Speaking Hope and Freedom to Iran. I want to share with you a new book that I've written with my dear Iranian refugee friend, Manoush Bakhtiari. Just recently, we finished this book together entitled, Dear God, Please Bring Freedom to Iran. This is a very, very special book, and I want to take just a couple of minutes to talk to you about my friend Manoush. I met Manoush about a year or so ago, and together we have become a voice for the Iranian people. She is an Iranian refugee asylum seeker in Sweden, and she is working hard to have a very successful interview for residency. Manoush is a human rights activist who fled Iran in 2017 because of the political pressure and the government pressure on the work that she was doing by posting on Facebook about the human rights violations and the way people are treated in Iran. Now, her video is also on this particular page that you're watching. I want to talk to you about this book and what we have done together in this book. Manusha's story is in this book, and she talks about just how difficult it was living in Iran. She was very supportive of a good friend of mine, Sholi Pakravan, when her daughter Rahane was unjustly executed in 2014 simply because she defended herself against a government rapist. In our book, we have worked hard together to bring awareness to you about the plight of Iranian political prisoners, refugees, and Christians. One of the articles in our book deals with this subject about how the Iranian dictatorship government deals with Christians in Iran. This past Christmas, more than 150 Iranian Christians were arrested in the house church movement simply because the government hates Christianity hates what they believe in, and especially if a, an Iranian is a former Muslim that converts to Christianity, there is much persecution, torture, and even death for them changing their religion. Now, in our book, Dear God, Please Bring Freedom to Iran, one of the stories that we talk about in this book is with a dear friend of ours. Her name is Fatima. Fatima is a fearless warrior for Christ. About a year or so ago, she left Islam and converted to Christianity. And because of that, the government kept track of her activities and arrested her and accused her simply of conspiring against national security because she converted from Islam to Christianity. My friend, our friend, Fatima spent six months in prison in Iran where she was mentally tortured um, by the interrogators because of her conversion activity of becoming a Christian. Now, since Fatima has been released from prison, the government keeps her under surveillance. But she is a very courageous and fearless person, and she has started a campaign called The Church is the Right of Christians. This campaign is calling on the Iranian government to grant freedom to Persian-speaking Christians to have a church, a main church in Iran, where they can freely worship without the fear of government arrest and persecution. In a dictatorship uh, place like Iran, it's very, very dangerous and difficult for uh, former Muslims who become Christians to insist on their rights for religious freedom. The government only recognizes Islam. They hate Christians, and especially those that belong to the Baha'i faith and they will persecute, torture, and even kill Christians. It was in 2005 that then-President Ahmadinejad said, I will stop Christianity in Iran. Well, God promises in his word that the gates of hell will not prevail against the church, and that he has empowered and protected his people, and the gospel of Jesus Christ is being heard all over Iran. They cannot stop Christianity because of the promise of Christ. 
And Fatima is an example of one courageous Christian that is asking you and me to support her. Her video is on this page as well. She's a very courageous friend of ours who is in very grave danger because she's so outspoken about her Christian faith. So I'm asking you, number one, to please pray and support my dear friend Fatima and all Christians in Iran who are under persecution. The number two thing I would ask you is please, please consider getting a copy of this book on Kindle or paperback. It's on Amazon.com. You just type in this title, Dear God, Please Bring Freedom to Iran. It's a book that brings awareness for the many different classes of people that are under persecution in Iran. We have a friend named Mehdi Rajabian who is a musician and simply because he did not consult with the government to publish his music and obtain a license, Mehdi was put in prison and tortured in solitary confinement. There is no freedom, political or religious freedom in Iran. And here on my page, Praying for the Persecuted Church, this book is so important for you to read. But most importantly, please pray and support our friend Fatima and pray for the persecuted Christians in Iran. And one other prayer request I have for you. I would ask you to please pray for my dear friend Manoush that the Immigration Board in the in upcoming year will grant her residency in Sweden. And she wants to live there. This is a place that she loves and has many friends. You know, the immigration board in Sweden has deported many Iranians back to Iran. It's very dangerous. So Manoush needs your thoughts and prayers as well. I want to thank you for taking time into listening and watching this video. And thank you so much for supporting my page praying for the persecuted church. It's so important. The work that we do on this page and the prayers that you say for the persecuted Christians all over the world. God bless you and have a wonderful year.